Welcome to Fish. This is a guide video going over the basics how to fish, how to get bored, how to get better rods, how to become a pro in the game. If you're a brand new player, make sure you watch all the way through this video because you are definitely going to be picking up some tips and tricks in this video that will help you on becoming a better player in Fish. Let's get stuck right in guys, make sure you watch through this one because you're definitely going to be picking up some pretty good tips and tricks. Let's get started guys. If you ever need free Robux, download the app called Play Buy. It's like an arcade on your phone. You can play fun games, win prizes for playing those games such as the official Roblox gift card or any gift card of your choice. Download Play Buy, the link will be in the description of the video. Use the code ITVEXO to unlock 10% of a Roblox gift card. When you first join the game, I'm gonna be honest with you, because the game is so good, you might be lagging. So go to menu, go to settings, and I highly recommend you Turning off some settings, I highly recommend you actually turning down your graphics a little bit because of how good quality the game is. But in the settings guys, you can choose your titles such as Rookie, Novice Fisher. The more you fish, the more titles you unlock pretty much. Hey, you can auto sell legendary fish and stuff like that if you want to do that. And everything like that as you can obviously see. Hey, you got your stats showing how much money you made, everything like that. If you do make your way over here, we got some game passes that you can buy if you really want game passes. I mean, go ahead and buy your game passes if you want. But I highly recommend you doing the peer guide if you're a brand new player to the game. But when you do start the game, you got a flimsy rod. And what you want to do is come right over here. And you want to go ahead guys and just fish. So you fish by clicking and holding. And once you do that you want to press the shake button. So you just want to keep on pressing the shake button like this. And the more times you press the shake button the more higher chance you'll catch a fish. Pretty much. So you want to keep on pressing shake just like that. And any moment now we should catch a fish guys as you can see. And then it does say click and hold anywhere. You don't want to click and hold. You want to keep the white bar on the line, as you can obviously see. The more you tap, so if you click more, the more higher it goes. And we've got a new catch, a pretty big fish this time, as you can obviously see. So that's how to fish. So I'll be back, guys, once I've got a decent amount of fish. If you guys do go to your inventory, well, your equipment backpack, um, you can actually go ahead and equip stuff such as bait, which does increase your luck. So if you want to get better luck, you can buy bait. And by buying bait, you can basically become, get better fish pretty much, guys. So if you want to get better fish, I recommend you getting bait and equipping it by going to your equipment backpack. This button just shows all of the fish that you can get. As you can see, if you do scroll all the way down, there are some mad fishes that you can get. And it does say the locations and where you can get the fish. But, um, if you want to sell your fish, come to Mark over here. And just do, I want to sell this. Hold down the fish that you want to sell. I want to sell this. And as you can see, we just got money for that. And we can also go ahead and sell this fish. We just got some more money from that as well. So that's how to make money, guys. You can also buy other things here, such as cages, crab cages, to make money. You can also go ahead and buy different types of fishing rods. As you can see, there's loads of different fishing rods that you can choose from. There's so many, guys. This NPC does show like how like, rare the fishes are that you get and stuff as you can see. You can also appraise fishes here as you can see which is pretty cool. If you do make your way over here we got Angler. The Angler does give you quests if you do speak to the Angler. You can actually have more extra quests by speaking to this um quest so if you do catch a chinook salmon and you give it to this person you probably get a lot of money from doing that so if you guys do go ahead and buy cages from what i've heard loads of people think that it's like a good money method on investing in crab cages so 
Yeah, apparently crab cages make a lot of money. So if you do get crab cages and just collect it down somewhere, put a crab cage like here, as you can obviously see, you can actually place down crab cages here, like that one and two, and I'll be back once they do fill up with a crab or something. You can also buy a GPS here for 100, pretty cheap, I'm gonna buy that. It's in a pretty secret location. And if you've got friends, guys, you can just say, like, your coordinates at the bottom, as you can see. So, GPS, you can buy GPS right there, pretty cool. We can also buy a fish radar right there for 8,000. There's like loads of- this game is just so good, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you do make your way over here to shipwright, you can actually buy boats. So you can actually go ahead and see tons of different ships as you can see. Um, you've got to be a higher level to do that though, unfortunately. But you can get really cheap boats and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So I did equip guys some bait, as you can see. So let's see if the bait does actually work or not. We might be able to go ahead and get ourselves a really rare fish. Alright guys, so apparently if you get bait, you get them from fishing up bait crates. So you only can get bait from bait crates. That's how to get um, bait pretty much. As of right now, I still haven't cra catched anything in my crab cage. What the hell is taking so long? I'll let you guys know if I get anything at the end of the video. Okay, just watch all the way till the end and we'll see if we can actually get something from that crab cage. Yeah, it's kind of like time consuming for... Oh, and there's also traveling merchants in the game where you can probably get bait as well, which is pretty good. But yeah, as of right now, guys, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, I did just get a fish. There we go, driftwood. Oh my god. Okay, what can we get with driftwood? I better get a decent amount. It's literally just a piece of wood. Uh, let's see what we get for driftwood. Um, Ten. Oh my god, we got absolutely scammed. But I guess if you do get a crab, it might be worth a lot. I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, we've got a rock. 18 kg rock. How am I even picking up this with one hand? Alright, let's go ahead. Let's see how much we can get for this rock. Are we going to make profit? Okay, do not buy those crab cages. Like, what the actual hell? They are scam. Yeah, don't buy them. But that's the basics of the game anyway. Hopefully this video helped you out guys. And I'll now see you all in the very next video.